I oh I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. I oh I pull up, I'm moving too smooth. Yeah, I got colors, I got heels. I feel like Jizzy, I got views. I use them baby like a mules. Play them like the ones and two. Bow, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Chad Arms, aka Chatty Bobby. Oh, buddy. And we are here for another top 10 countdown. This is my, out of my collection, this is what I would recommend as the top 10 most complimented fragrances. Um, if you want to get, if you're trying to get the most compliments and turn the most heads, this is the 10 out of my collection that I would suggest to you to, uh, to get you those compliments, okay? Before we even get into the countdown, I want to say thanks again to all the continued subscribers and comments and support. Link in the description is going to be for my Instagram page. Please hit that uh, follow button on Instagram. I'm having to rebuild a brand new Instagram account. I had one that had over 5,000 followers on it that I had for six years that some idiot hacked and it was a whole ordeal. I had to start a new one, okay? So I really appreciate the support. Let's get right into this countdown, man. Bow! All right, so the first one we're gonna talk about is gonna be Polo Black from Ralph Lauren. This one, beast, beast of a fragrance. You wanna turn some heads, get you some Polo Black, man. I've had, this is one of my the first bottles I picked up. You got mango, tangerine, lemon, tonka bean, and sage. Um, I'm a big fan of all the Polo, not all the Polo stuff. You know, I love uh, Red Intense, um, Red Extreme, Red Rush, um, Polo Blue. Um, polo sport if you want to go some eighth grade throwback but polo black to me if I had to pick one to suggest to you to get some compliments it would be polo black it's just got a very grown and sexy vibe to it which a lot of these will have but they do such a good job of mixing all the notes together with this one and it's a heavy hitter this is one that I picked up from Scentbird. once I used that I bought the bottle put a good little dent in this one so my number 10 polo black from Ralph Lauren my number nine. My number nine is a beast. Another one that I got from Scentbird that I ended up buying. I've gotten several compliments on this one. I was wearing this a lot when I first started uh, my collecting. Um, and that is Gucci Guilty Intense. Now, I'm a big fan of Gucci Guilty Love Edition. That one's kind of more of an underrated one. I don't hear people talk about that one a lot, but Gucci Guilty Intense is an outstanding fragrance man you got lavender coriander um lemon african orange flower and neroli got a good blend of different stuff here and this one is Woo we love it man this is this is such an awesome one man a great head turner too the last in power on all these 10 that i'm going to show you is good last in power that's another thing i factored into the most complimented um if you want to get some the most compliments because you need something that's going to be strong enough to where it's going to stick around. You know what I mean? And Gucci Guilty Intense is a heavy hitter. Definitely one that gets a lot of compliments. That's my number nine, Gucci Guilty Intense. My number eight. My number eight is one from the Versace line. I talk about this one a lot. This is a head turner for sure. That is Versace Eros. I'm a big fan of Versace. You know, I got Eros, Eros Flame. I got Dylan Blue. I got New. I got uh, Oud Noir. Um, I've got Signature. I've got Fresh. I got all those. But this one, as far as it's got such a sweet scent to it, which is a is a big factor, I think, as far as um, what I've seen. You know, I work from home now, but you know, for three or four months before that, when I was starting to collect, I worked. I work, you know, in the public in the retail. And Versace Arrows get you a lot of compliments, man. Um, it's got mint, green apple, lemon, tonka bean, and geranium. I love tonka bean, man. The way it blends with all the with the with the fruits and then that mint, <sighs> man. It's, you don't need but one of this one. Scrong, son. That boy Scrong. Hashtag that boy Scrong. Ver Versace Arrows is a definite uh, one you need to grab if you want to try to turn some heads and get some compliments at work or from your gal. Or you know what I'm saying whatever it is that you're trying to do if you're a single fella and you're trying to get out on the town this will turn some heads man Versace Eros my number eight my number seven my number seven Dolce Gabbana the one man and this is the this is the toilet this is not the parfum 
This one is a heavy hitter for sure. Um, you got grapefruit, coriander, basil, ginger, cardamom. Hey, smell like a straight up snack. Oh man, love it, love it, love it. Sweeter than fuck, STF. Um, this is definitely a head turner. I do want to get the, um, I do want to pick up the parfum um, once I get this one knocked down a little bit more. Um, but I'm a big fan of Dolce Gabbana, obviously light blue. I'm a huge light blue fan. Uh, there's not any of those in the countdown today just because they're more, I don't know, as, as much as good as they smell, I feel like there was 10 other ones that would, that would work better for you. But Dolce Gabbana, Dolce Gabbana, the one is a great one. Great one for like date night fragrance, grown and sexy vibe to it. Definite head turner. Um, you, you'll get you a lot of compliments with this one right here. And I'm sure the parfum will do even better for you because I think it's a little bit stronger. But yeah, man, Dolce Gabbana, the one, that's the toilet. My number six. The next one up on the countdown list, Blue Day Chanel, man. You talk about one that's a beast of a fragrance. It's this one right here. Now this one, um, this I have the toilet. I don't have the parfum of this one either. This one's going for like stupid money right now on Fragrance Net, um, and it's just for the little vials. I don't know if they're almost out of it. There's been they've been sold out of a lot of stuff lately, but Blue Day Chanel is incredible, man. Uh, notes in you got labdanum. A labdanum, nutmeg, ginger, sandalwood, and patchouli. Now, if you've been following my videos, you know that that I love. Ooh, got a little bit of my face there. But she said, uh, "I love patchouli. I love sandalwood. I didn't think that it was two uh, notes that I would be a big fan of when I first started. But sandalwood has really become one of my favorite notes, along with pink pepper and uh, bergamot, of course. But this one is an incredible one. The stand power is." You just smell like money when you put on some Blue Day Chanel, man. You need to put on a, a tuxedo shirt, fucking Stacey Adams shoes, and get to get to stepping. You hear me? This will definitely turn some heads. Um, you're going to smell like a million bucks when you put on some Blue Day Chanel, man. It's going to get you a lot of compliments. So, yeah. Let's move on, man. My number five. My number five is one I've been talking about a lot lately. I need to get the flankers. There's one that's called Freeze and one that's called Intensely. But this is just Armani Stronger With You. You smell like a snack. I'm telling you, you got cardamom, pink pepper, lavender, pineapple, vanilla. This fragrance is incredible, son. The way that they blend everything together, um, I love it, man. This is going to be a for life fragrance for me, man. One, this is going to be one I got to keep in stock. Um, I use it a lot. This one will definitely get you some get you some compliments for sure. Um, great date night fragrance again. A grown and sexy vibe to it. I think it's the. I don't want to. I always compare it to Dolce Gabbana the one. I think it smells better. The notes are different too, but I kind of put it in that same lane. You know what I mean? But Armani Stronger with You. It's not, again they're on, they're sold out of. Well they've got the 1.7 ounce, but it's 50 bucks. I would just try to see if you can find this cheaper. Wait for it to kind of get back in stock on Fragrance Net. It's definitely worth the pickup. You're going to get hella compliments with this Stronger With You. Um, I look forward to getting the Stronger With You Freeze and Intensely because I love this one, man. That's my number five. Armani's Stronger With You. My number four. My number four is from Paco Rabanne. That is one million. This is the toilet. Love Paco Rabanne, man. Let it rain down on your playa. Love it, man. Grapefruit, mint, blood orange, rose, and cinnamon. This is such an awesome, awesome fragrance, man. It's just, everybody knows about Paco 1 million for in the fragrance game. Um, and it's got such a great scent to it. Another one, great stay in power. Gets you tons of compliments. Um, I need to pick up all the flankers. I know there's a there's a Privé. There's a, there's a bunch of different ones. There's a, um, I can't remember all of them off the top of my head. Lucky. I'm looking at the notes here. You had Lucky from 1 million. I know they got a new one. I think there may be a parfum, but this is a must, must get one form of this. Now, I heard there's better forms of the Paco 1 million, but this is the one I have and I love it. Definitely recommend it for a, uh, if you want to get some compliments, man, if you want to turn some heads, get you a bottle of Paco 1 million. My number three. My number three had to go in here now this is a spice beast but it's such a good a good fragrance 
that's Dior Sauvage. This is um, the toilet, not the parfum. You got pepper, Calabrian, uh, Calabrian bergamot, geranium, lavender, Szechuan pepper. This one, I'm telling you right now, this one, this is not gonna be everybody's cup of tea because of the spice factor. But this one will get you tons of compliments. If that's what you're trying to go for, the times that I've worn this to work when I was before I got started working from home, times I went out and used this, this this gets you compliments for sure, man. This turns people's heads. People love the smell of Dior Sauvage. Ladies love the smell of uh, Dior Sauvage. Definitely recommend this one. Now these a lot of these aren't going to be the cheapest, but the good thing about Fragrance Net is you can do afterpay, where you can if you get a couple bottles of these and you need to space it out every two weeks, they can do payments which is really easy and affordable and it makes it convenient for you. It's not like a credit card or anything like that. They just, they do it with a lot of these sites do it. The shoe sites do it. A lot of the designer web, you know, sites do it. So Dior Sauvage, man, I don't have the parfum. I want to try that one, but I'm good with this one for now. It's Dior Sauvage, the toilet. That is my number three, most complimented. And we're getting into the nitty gritty, man. Two left, my number two. All right, so this next one is not my favorite one from this particular uh, house, but this is the one that gets talked about the most, for the most part. Um, and if you want to, if you're trying to get compliments, and you're trying to turn heads, pick up some Aqua Di Gio Profumo, man. This is the black bottle. Now everybody knows the Profondo is my favorite. It's the navy blue bottle, but I'm recommending this one because this is going to get. This is way more talked about. People like this one a lot more than they like the Profondo. I'm kind of in the minority as far as that goes. But this one's amazing. You got bergamot, geranium, rosemary, sage, patchouli. Aqua de Gio is another one of those. It just smells like money, bro. Um, long lasting. Definitely get you, it's a compliment beast. Any of the Aqua de Gio's. You know, of course you got the OG that's, a, that's, that's dope, but we all know the OG. And it doesn't really last that long and everybody knows about that one. But you want to get you want to get compliments. You want to turn heads. I suggest picking up the Profumo. Um, it's a beast, man. It's a beast. Um, the, it smells great. You know, you get that sweet smell, but it, it blends well with the patchouli and the sage. They get that spice too. They do a great job with it. Aqua Di Gio, man. Armani knows how to make fragrances smell gooder than fuck. You hear what I'm saying? GTF. Let's go. So my number one, most the one I recommend the most. If you're trying to get compliments, if you're trying to turn heads. My number one. Let's get it. That's right, man. My number one. YSL La Home. This is the toilet. This one. Of all the fragrances that I had, this one get this one has gotten me the most compliments. This is another one that I picked up in the beginning stages of my collecting with Polo Black, Gucci Guilty Intense. This one right here. YSL La Home. Smells amazing, man. You got ginger, bergamot, lemon, basil, white pepper. It's incredible. And the flankers are great, but oh man, I can't get enough of this one. I've used it so much. This is another one. Put a nice, a pretty good little dent in that one, but I also had two of the Scent Bird. I did it twice from Scent Bird. Um, before I, before I bought a bottle, and I love this fragrance, man. It, it's such a beast. It's the staying power is great. It's so easy on the nose. It's not too. It's just sweet, but it's not too sweet. You know, sometimes people feel like the one million, or even the stronger with you can be a little too sweet. This one though is just sweet enough. I feel like it. It, it does a great job. If you're trying to get compliments, if you're trying to turn hands, if you're trying to get people to notice you, put on some YSL La Home, man. I'm telling you. It'll do the job, it'll do you right, okay? So that was my number one, man. But all 10 of these, I recommend highly. Um, I just feel like I wanted to put a little bit of a countdown aspect to this to this video. But I appreciate each and every one of y'all's support. Thank you for all the continued support. Let's just keep this thing moving. The daily uploads are gonna keep coming. I got another haul video coming soon. We're gonna do another countdown. We're gonna keep things pushing out for you. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. That way every time I post a video, you're gonna be the first one to see it, player. Love, peace, and hair grease.